Hi everybody, my name is Nicole Belanda. I work for Rockwell Automation as the Customer Advocacy Program Manager, and we are here to talk about results achieved. I'm here with Terry McKinney from Shiloh Industries to talk about some of the results that Shiloh has achieved. Hi Terry. Hello, how are you? I'm good. Can you tell everybody a little bit about your title? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm the Director of Digital Transformation at Shiloh. Um, been with Shiloh for 32 years. Um, Congrats. And, uh, thank you. And uh, we've been working uh, on uh, Plex implementation uh, over the past three years. Um, we've uh, implemented 11 plants to date, all flawlessly. Wow, have a, have that's a great, great team. Um, and uh, we have three more to go, so we're, uh, we're, we're finishing up uh, here real soon. So what does Shiloh Industries make? Um, we're an automotive supplier, and uh, we make structures, and we also provide solutions to the electrification of vehicles. Um, for the automotive world. That's great. So both combustion engines and electric yes, vehicles? correct. That's a good place to be right now, to have <laughs> your foot in both of those. Um, okay, so what challenge was Shiloh Industries looking to solve when you first came to Plex? Um, well, we, we have acquired uh, quite a few companies uh, over the years, and we had seven different ERP systems. Oh my gosh. Yeah, <laughs> um, through North America just. And uh, uh, basically, none of them talked to each other. Um, the data uh, was not consistent from plant to plant, um, and just being able to use that data was very difficult. We spent more time looking for data, looking for the right data and cleaning it and making sure it was correct to make decisions on than, uh, than we, we did, uh, you know, basically capturing the data so it was uh, that's the no fun stuff no, right like the trying to identify data trying to make it all look the same so you can actually compare things apples I, to apples exactly. I think what you're describing is a problem that a lot of customers have right sure. especially with acquisitions data in silos all looks a little different hard to get the big picture yeah. view so what made you choose Plex or manufacturer so we wanted to make sure that the operations had something they could use that was user-friendly on the shop floor and that uh, uh, it would uh, basically capture the data we want and uh, store it how we wanted to store it and be able to retrieve it and use reports to make better decisions. You mentioned that you have rolled this out already in several plants. Yes. Eleven? Eleven. And there's three more to go. Correct. What's happening in those eleven plants? What does it look like? Are operators able to figure out what to do? What's the environment like? Most of the plants, um, after uh, a few, few months, they get used to it and then they start really seeing the benefit of it. Um, I do remember um, the one thing that sticks out in my mind. Um, every year we do a physical inventory. Okay. And one of our, uh, our plants, they weren't the, I won't, you know, they had variances at the end of the year. And uh, I remember the first time they did it with Plex, they called and said, they were really excited because they had less than a 1% material variance. That's and, fabulous. And that was huge for them. Yeah, so and I think awesome. that's another very common problem, right? Mm -hmm. Especially if you have multiple facilities, yeah. your numbers might not end up exactly where you thought they would. 1%, that's... Less than 1%. Yeah. Less than 1%, that's excellent. <laughs> what other kind of results are you seeing in some of the facilities that already have it implemented? Yeah, well, the uh, the common language, actually, you, you wouldn't think that, uh, you know, people talking the same way means a difference, but it does. Um, <clears throat> we call things the same now because it's the same process. We basically take the process from one to the next to the next and uh, it, it's, it's very similar. Um, obviously the manufacturing operations are different in each plant, so that's different. But as far as how we put it together, how we roll it out, you know, how, uh, how we use, uh, you know, use the information, how we put the information in, it's all the same. So everybody can talk the same talk and it's, it's, it's really nice and being able to pull data, um, that's yeah, we're going from a, a data mining company, or not a company, but a data mining activity to a uh, analyst yeah, looking at the data. Yeah, you can have fun now. Yeah, you can exactly. actually use the data. So what are your goals with that data? What are you looking to measure, maybe improve? Yeah, obviously uh, in a manufacturing facility, OEE is big. Um, that's a big one. Um, understanding scrap, understanding downtime. We're getting into preventative maintenance. Um, we're even looking at uh, taking the next step in, uh, in our our, our road towards Industry 4.0 and uh, starting to connect the machines. So that's kind of the next step in our evolution. Well, that's really exciting. I'm so glad you're able to come here and share your story with us. Do you have any advice for anyone who might be looking to implement a digital transformation like this where they're bringing information from silos together? Well, I, I think the, the one thing that, uh, that kind of sticks out is, you know, Plex is a tool 
and you have to manage the tool. Um, they're not going to come in and solve all your problems. You have to do that yourself. It's not just a, a ERP implementation. It's a business process. And we have to go in and we have to, on a lot of plants, we redesigned our entire business process around Plex. Um, and it's difficult, like I said, with the change management change and everything. Yeah. But uh, don't, uh, don't think that Plex is going to come in and solve all your problems. You have to do that. It just, it's a tool to help you. Thank you so much, Terry. We're so lucky to have customers like Shiloh who understand that, you know, a tool is only as good as what you bring in and they come to us with great ideas on how to implement it and bring it to life. So thanks for sharing your time and your story today. We loved hearing about your results achieved. Thank you. All right.